Today we visited the Giza Pyramids and the Forever Is Now 2 art installation. Come along while we show you around the site. Allow us to introduce ourselves. We are going, going, back, back. I'm from Australia. And I am from the USA. When we set out on this journey, our three kids were all under five, and we thought we'd travel until it was time for our eldest to start school. We soon realized that our children's education had already begun, with the world as their classroom. We put thoughts of a forever home on hold and became a full-time traveling family. Join us as we travel the world, going, going, back, back. We're at the Pyramids of Giza. We're here to see the Forever Is Now art installation here. We've been to the Pyramids a couple of times before. We're excited to see this art installation. It is very crowded. Much more crowded than when we've been here previously. Entry is currently 240 Egyptian pounds for adults, 120 for students and children six and up, and free for kids five and under. That's the entry to the Pyramid Complex. Uh, if you want to go in and see Khufu's, the interior of Khufu's Pyramid, that's 140. Khufu's is 100. Menkari's is closed. The Merzang tomb is 50 Egyptian pounds. It does look like we take credit cards or cash. Where are we? <laughs> it's always cool. It's been cool for four and a half thousand years. So we do have our car and driver, a car and driver here with us today, as the art installation is actually a little distant. Apparently there is a shuttle bus, but with the family, it seemed easier to come in with a car. Uh, your ticket for the car is only 10 Egyptian pounds, so it's not a significant difference. But obviously you have to pay for whatever it costs to keep the car and driver for that time. Here are the incredible pyramids. So we are driving right past the Great Pyramid. Well, it is greatly big. It is greatly big. <laughs> So, if you can hear our discussion, it's confusing which one is the bigger of the pyramids. I'm guessing that one is. But the slightly less great pyramid is actually at a, on a, um, at a higher point on the plateau, so it appears bigger and taller. So the one that still has the cap on it here is actually slightly smaller, but from most vantage points it looks bigger. I was only going to stop. Look, there's all hair scary. And then the third and smallest pyramid is the Pyramid of Minkare. The plateau where the pyra pyramids are is actually quite steep and there's a fair bit of ground to cover so a car is really a great option to come and you know, being able to stop and get out where you want to see things but not having to traverse those great distances there are horses and carriages but it really kind of feels like they struggle on these steep roads and I've even read that they're talking about um, changing the rules so that the Horses are no longer allowed to be right near the pyramids. So they might not be part of the landscape here for too many years longer. They, they will uh, make uh, uh, big buses by electric? Yes. Mm. Mommy, what we control is like that? more cars coming in. Yeah, yeah. Mommy, what is that? So the plans for the transportation around the Giza Plateau are going to change drastically, Mohammed was just explaining to us. So they're going to have something like a cable car up in the air. What? 
it's going to be above the ground like up in the air right so there'll be a cable car running from the Pyra Giza pyramids down to the gem the grand egyptian museum and then they will have um, electric buses that will take people around so there won't be not only will there not be horses and carriages and camels but there also won't be all these private vehicles going everywhere as well so i think that would be really um really wonderful actually for the experience of the pyramid so it's quite overcast today and a bit chillier you can see a lot of like camel tours off in the distance and then up here this is the viewpoint where people come to take their pictures where it looks like they're holding up the pyramids it is incredibly crowded today far and away more crowded than the last yeah, couple of times we came of us holding up the pyramid in the video. Yeah, okay. shall we put those in there? Yes. All right, well, we'll add a few, few of the pictures we took last time holding up the pyramids. I held the pyramid. You did hold the pyramids, yeah. You're so happy. Here we are, Forever is Now, second edition at the Giza Pyramids. Let's go see this unfinished obelisk. Come on, babies, there's other people who want to take pictures. No, I think, I think some of the more distant ones will try to do. Oh. <laughs> It's really interesting. There's definitely some waiting around to get your turn to take the picture, but it's not horrendous. Portal of Light explores the imagery of ancient Egypt through the themes of threshold and of light as they relate to the deities of the worship of the sun, such as Isis and Ra. They do look like balloons, don't they? Or Christmas lights? November <laughs> five to four on an admittedly overcast day it's cold and windy <laughs>
was our adventure to the Forever Is Now 2, two. at the Giza Pyramids. It is actually only open until the 1st of November, but hopefully they'll run it again sometime in the near future. It's very interesting to see. <laughs> that was the point where my phone battery died. So I'm going to leave you with a few images from the exhibition. Unfortunately, this exhibition is about to end, but I'll put a link in the description to the company who puts it on so you can find out when the next one is.